Hey everyone, welcome back. So have you ever placed a new component or piece within your audio system and you just had a holy moment where you were just like, wow, this is so far and above beyond what I expected and what I thought was possible. But this one addition really, really, really took me by surprise. And that was adding a second REL S510 subwoofer. Uh, you guys, if you saw my video about subwoofers, I talked about why I always disliked them, why I always hated them, and what got me to change my mind. And it was that single soul REL S510 sub, the highest quality, most musical sub I've ever heard in life. I'm sure there's better. There's better in the REL line. If you cheap out on them, you can have boom and chuffing and it, it could ruin the sound. But this one lone sub really took me by surprise and transformed my system. When I added a second REL S510, which everybody was emailing me, you have to add a second one, Steve. You're, you're gonna be blown away. So many of you know about what I'm talking about. I added that second REL S510 and it literally took me five minutes to install it, dial it in, perfect, right? Listening now with the second REL S510 sub has taken my system, again, to heights that I've never heard before. You're in the performance and even with my Focal um, Diablo Evos speakers, they have become a uh, big, warm, fluid, liquid, detailed. As I sat and listened last night, uh, I said, man, this is like having a religious experience. I brought Debbie in and I said, listen to this song. It was actually a song uh, called Speak To Me off of the new Depeche Mode album, Memento Mori. And uh, wow, so many spatial cues. But when she heard it with this new edition, she said, and I didn't tell her what I thought. She said, that is like having a religious experience. And she had tears going down her cheeks. Now I've been sucked into the performance before. I've talked about it here. But when you add a second musical sub, it's gotta be a high quality sub that can handle the speed of your speakers, right? You um, dial them in. It took me weeks to dial in the single sub, right? It took me five minutes to dial in the second. When you add that stereo set of subwoofers, it's just like everything becomes whole and everything becomes complete and you don't even realize it until you hear it in the system. With the single sub, I was like, wow, this is so much better than without it. When I added the second rel, it's just like the heavens opened up, the light came in and the music was just more tangible, more emotional, right? Um, more soulful, more beautiful, um, more detailed but absolutely zero glare hardness or harshness that really 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 improved my system adding a second subwoofer is the real deal you hear people talk about it all the time in forums how adding that second sub was just like an amazing experience that is true it's important to get them set up right and dialed in and now i've ended up with each rel sub in a corner as rel suggests and I'm now using the high level connections from each sub and they are blended. You can't even tell that there's a subwoofer in the system. When you hear the bass come in and when you hear that fullness come in, it sounds like it's part of the Focal Diablos. Like it, they, they speak as one unit and uh, it's tight, it's fast. Um, there's no slop, there's no boom, there's nothing like that. It just sounds like a perfect speaker from top to bottom with dual subs. So that was the thing that gave me a religious experience last night as well as Debbie. So what was the next holy bleep moment that I had with my system? I received a new DAC uh, for review. Uh, came in for review from T plus A. This is a DAC 200. Now T plus A is known for their super high quality uh, build parts almost uh, I would compare them to Nagra uh, for quality and attention to detail and sound quality and build things that'll last you your lifetime right so TNA sent me uh, courtesy of Jaguar audio uh, they carry the DAC 200 
they sent me a DAC 200 and they said, compare it against your DCS Lena, right? Now I have a DCS Lena DAC that retails for 12,500. I have the master clock and I have some very snazzy Shunyata Omega clock 75 cables. All in all, the retail price is close to $30,000 for just my DAC and streamer. The DCS has a built-in streamer. It's a network DAC. So this T plus A DAC 200 comes in. It's $7,500, $7,250, something along those lines, the $7,000 price point. And uh, it looks very nice. It's a beautiful DAC. It has the VU meters. You can set those to any color of the rainbow. This DAC impressed me from the get-go. As soon as I took it out of the box, I noticed uh, enhanced depth, a little more clarity. It's a little sharper than the DCS, but man, it is probably 50% more three-dimensional, more liquid, and I'm using that term a lot because the system behind me sounds very, very liquid and um, just amazingly three-dimensional, but also solid and dense. Um, and this DAC goes in and I'm admiring the beauty of the DAC. And I start out just using it with a blue sound node going uh, into the USB input using an AudioQuest Diamond USB cable. And I'm streaming Tidal Masters and even Spotify. And I'm just like, what? How is this DAC sounding this good? So I put the DCS back in and I was like, oh yeah, the DCS sounds really, really nice. And it does. It seems to have um, a little more solidity, uh, a little less width and expansiveness. So I listened to that for a while and I like the muscularity of the Lena, but then I put the DAC 200 back in and there's the magic, it's just pure magic. And this is just an amazing DAC. I, I, I've heard a lot of DACs over the years. I've done videos here, my top favorite DACs, right? I love the Cord Dave, um, the Dana Fripps Terminator series is an amazing uh, sounding DAC. Um, there were so many decks, the Nagra Classic deck. This to me best, the Nagra Classic deck, and it kind of looks Nagra-esque, but uh, with its own thing going on. Top quality deck. I couldn't believe the sound improvement from it, um, but the DCS is, is still, uh, I'm not saying it's clobbering the DCS, they're just a little bit different of a presentation, but because of the cost savings of the DAC 200, that's what makes me say, holy bleep, for this money, I'm getting you know, much higher quality sound than I expected. So that review is gonna be coming soon. I had another holy bleep moment. So I put in an Avic U150 integrated amp. Now, I was so curious about these amps and I stayed away from them because they use Class D amplification. And in the past, I was never a fan of Class D, but and then recently that Heaven 11 Billy Mark II came in, which was a Class D amp, uh, made it to a Class A tubed preamp. And I fell in love with that little $2,000 amp and it sounded so good and punchy and it had kick and it filled in those mids that were kind of lean from the Focal Diablos. And I said, if it sounds this good at $2,000, those AVICs must sound dreamlike, right? Um, now, the AVIC amps, uh, the U150 is an older integrated. I actually bought it with my own money. I bought a store demo uh, from Next Level Hi-Fi in Wayne, Illinois. This is a beautiful shop and they really sell um, or, or focus on Borenson speakers and AVIC amplification. They also sell name and name statement. They sell Focal and a few other brands, but uh, going in there and talking to them, they are they were huge believers of these AVIC integrated amps or, you know, the separates or whatever. And uh, I came home, did some research, and I was like, that U150 looks really, really good. Um, so they had a demo. I bought it over uh, uh, through email, and I received it in less than 24 hours because they're not, they're maybe five, six hours from me, five hours from me. So... I now have this U150 integrated amp that's a Class D amp that retailed for $20,000 because it has a phono stage and a DAC built in. I was told the phono stage is world class, the DAC is world class, and it's really a complete all-in-one that's 
going to give you amazing sound. So I get the U150, I put it in, and I'm expecting it. I was actually expecting to come make a video saying, this Heaven 11 Billy is just as good as this Avic, but that's not the case. The Avic just blew me away. Um, and in the time that I've been living with it already, I can declare it as, without question, my favorite integrated amp of all time. Passing up the Pass Labs Int 250, the Luxmans uh, that I adored, the Line Magnetics that I adored, I've never heard uh, or seen an integrated of this quality. The sound is smooth as silk, highly three-dimensional. The imaging is organic and ethereal, natural. It's not surgical and analytical. The bass is on another level from any integrated. It even bests the separates I have here in that area. The sound of the Avic U150 instantly, it just bowled me over and I said, holy bleep, what the heck is going on? The ease, the effortlessness, the power that it has and the way it controls these speakers is beyond belief. I've never heard an integrated amp sound this good. Now, I think there's some synergy going on, but wow. So I decided to try the phono stage in it because I've been using a Pass Labs XP17, which is not a cheap phono stage. And uh, I usually, when I plug in a, a turntable to built-in integrated phono stages, some are excellent, like the Luxman uh, 590 and 595. The Luxman has a really good quality phono stage built-in. But the phono stage in the Avic bests any phono stage I've ever heard in my life. Now, keep in mind, the highest price phono stage I've ever heard is in the 5, 6K range. This just bowled that over and brought way more life, way more energy, way more that liquid uh, sound, that effortlessness, the big bass. And I was like, this is what vinyl is supposed to sound like. Big, juicy, analog, ripe, beautiful, detailed, inviting. Um, no matter what record I was playing, it just offered me this magic coming from the vinyl that sounded a little better than my freaking DCS Lena, right? And that's the first time that's ever happened. Now, I attribute this to the turntable, uh, the Pure Fidelity Harmony. This is an heirloom turntable that's in for long-term review, and it has their Stratos cartridge on it. And this cartridge is like a $2,000 cartridge, and this cartridge is liquid, warm, inviting, full, expansive, huge-sounding, beautiful cartridge. For me, at best, the Luxman LMC5 that costs more money. It best the Koetsu Black, which costs more money. Um, and it best any of the top end moving magnets I've heard, the Clear Audio Maestro, for example. Um, that table and cartridge is on another level from anything I've ever had in here. And that table was another wow moment. I tried the Avic U150 DAC. And I was like, if this beats the T plus A and the DCS, I'm, I'm going to wig out here. So I plugged it in, right? Because I was like, this would be the perfect all-in-one. World-class phono. If the DAC can hold up, world-class DAC, world-class amplification without the old um, weaknesses of class D sound. This didn't have any of the grayness, the sterility, the over-smooth sound. This was a full-on three-dimensional uh, assault, right? Uh, but a natural one, warm, liquid, inviting. And I was getting this from Focal Diablo speakers. Um, they were just a perfect match with this amp. So I tried the DAC, and it's immediately warmer than the T plus A or the DCS. It's a warmer uh, DAC, uh, a little bit fuller in the mids and the upper bass, right? Um, which took away from some of the magical details. It could not best or compete with the T plus A DAC 200. As far as the DCS Lena, it wasn't as detailed as the Lena or um, as, as fluid or thick as the DCS in that detailed kind of way. It's very good and I said I could live with this. There was some three dimensionality, not to the level of the T plus A or DCS, but the DAC sounded probably more like a $5,000 DAC. 
the phono stage to me sounded like a $10,000 DAC. And this Avic is so easy to set up. The menus are so simple. The display is huge. I could see it from my listening seat. That gave me a holy wow moment. The pure fidelity gave me a holy wow moment in that turntable. Such a beautiful table. If you're looking for your last turntable, I don't think there's anywhere you would want to go from here up. There's crazy exotic stuff for the uber high end, but in the realm of high end audio, I don't think you can do better than the pure fidelity. And I've had the techniques. I've had the high end techniques, I should say. I've had the VPIs. I loved and had the Fikert Velare. Uh, the Luxman PD-151 was a great table, but none of them compare for me to the pure fidelity. Uh, another holy bleep moment I had over the last month were these Focal Diablo Evo speakers. When I first put them in, you know, I was like, yeah, I hear the leanness that some people talk about, and but I also heard the all-out magic in that treble and mid-range. But I knew they needed some subwoofer reinforcement to sound their best. And with the pair of RHEL subs, I'm telling you, I wish, I wish you could be here in this room with me to hear what I'm talking about. Because as much as I enjoyed the sound from my previous systems, the Fleetwood DeVilles, the Klipsch La Scalas, the Pass Labs amplification, all of the stuff I've tested, the Nagra stuff, this is like on another level, next level, right? And I think it's a combination of the speakers, which I don't know why more people aren't going goo goo gaga over these vocals. They're world class. Yeah, they're expensive, but I see people spend triple on speakers and they're not happy with them. But the combo of these speakers, the Avic amp, the dual rail subs, the T plus A DAC 200, the pure fidelity turntable, and of course my Puritan audio power conditioner and, and ultimate cables, which I love. Wow. I mean, this is, this is the holy grail for me. Now, I'm not saying for you, but the sound I've always had in my head and I've gotten so close. This is it, the immersive experience, the humanity, the warmth, the uh, soul-stirring connection. Uh, it's all here. Um, so these are the holy wow moments I've had. I'm gonna be uh, reviewing the T plus A DAC. I'll be reviewing the Focals in more detail. There is a review of the Focals on my website at uh, stevehuffphoto.com. I'll put a link in the description below. It's something like a 6,000 word written review on these Diablos, uh, but I will have a video soon as well. I'll be doing a review of the Pure Fidelity Harmony Term Table and Stratos Cart. And Pure Fidelity sent me a Stratos cartridge to give away to one of you guys, a $2,000 cartridge. Um, so that's going to be cool as well. Um, the Avic Amp, it's, it's an old model. So I don't know if I'll actually do an official review because I'm not so sure you could even get it new today. Avic has new models, um, but I prefer the look and design of the 150 uh, personally. Yeah, that was my holy wow moments for the past few weeks. And I'll have all these reviews coming very soon. I wanted to check in. I've been really busy, uh, but I want to let you guys know I'm still listening every day, taking notes. And uh, yeah more soon. So thumbs up if you like this, subscribe, click on notifications, and I'll be back really soon with a slew of new videos. I'll see you then.